the holder of contrapasso. In any city, in any country, go to any bar or club you can get yourself to. Enter and ask the bartender for seven drinks. No matter what, you must drink them all. If any of the drinks are familiar to you, leave, for it means you have already failed. Purify yourself and return no sooner than one month later. If you did not recognize the drinks, congratulations, you may yet succeed. After finishing the drinks, ask the person next to you if they will take you to the holder of Contrapasso. If they say yes, leave, for they will instead lead you to damnation. If they say no, ask them again. They will look confused, but comply. You will be taken into a back room. Inside will be seven people sitting in what looks like a doctor's waiting room. Sit in the last chair available to you and wait. Do not respond to any of the people's questions, or else you will be lost to wait in the room forever. Your name will be called, and the seven people will stop talking and start crying, for their time to leave has not come. A door will open near you. Enter it. Close it behind you, and follow the man walking away from you. As you walk, you will become increasingly hungry, and the man will stop and offer you three bars of chocolate. Choose between eating all of them, eating none, or eating one. If you ate all of them, you will get hungrier, and the man will offer you more. You will be forced to leave, and the building will vanish once you are outside. Because you were gluttonous and ate all the food, you will never find satisfaction in food again, destined to be hungry till the end of your days. If you declined his offer, you will immediately feel full again. He will take you to a room at the end of the hallway, and you will be strapped to a table. The seven people you saw in the waiting room will come in and start to eat you. You will not die, but continue to regrow what they eat, because you were too proud to eat the food offered to you. You will be the food offered to the others forevermore. If you ate one, the man will keep the other two and continue down the hallway. At some point, the man will stop and stand to one side and tell you to walk in front of him. When you walk past, he will trip you, causing you to fall to the floor. If, when you get up, you yell at him for tripping you, he will immediately knock you out. You will wake up, but all you will conceive is the pain of being attacked in every way possible. This is your punishment for being wrathful, and it will become the bane of your existence. If you apologize for hitting his foot, he will start walking once more. You will finally reach the door at the end of the hallway, and the man will open it and enter. Inside the room he will sit down on a pile of treasure, gold and jewels innumerable. He will then indicate a small wooden chair directly across from the pile. Sit in it, and you will be asked the following question. Do you desire anything here? If your answer is yes, the last thing you will know is the look of intense anger in the man's eyes before he removes your organs, adding them to his treasures. If your answer is no, then the man will offer you to take three things from the pile. Take whatever you desire, but once you take three things, do not look at the pile again. If you do, the man will shout, 
taking the three objects as he does. You will then be turned to a gold statue, so that you will be frozen envying what you cannot have forever. If you resist it and turned away instead, the man will be standing in front of you. Once again he will open a door and lead you inside a large chamber. Inside will be hundreds of people performing every sexual act conceived. They will cry out your name in ecstasy and will beg for you to join them. Join them and be imprisoned in the room and every act you perform will give you pain instead of pleasure, although you will never be permitted to stop. This is your punishment for your lustful nature. If you managed to make it past the acts of lust and made it to the other side of the room, the people will disappear. Silently rejoice. Your quest is coming to a close. Before you'll be placed on a table with the word MANY written on it, and next to the word will be a knife. Carve the word HOW next to MANY, and be torn to pieces from the inside out. If instead you take the knife from the table and carve the symbol of a double dagger under the word MANY, the table will turn to dust. Drop the knife, for it will soon follow the table. The man will walk up to you from somewhere in the room and tell you to kiss him. If you do not, agony is too weak a word to describe the feeling that will reverberate throughout your being, shattering your mind and soul, leaving you to deal with the echoes of it till the end of time. If you kiss him as you would your love, it will seem that the whole world is cheering your name. The man will step back and smile at you. I am the holder of Contrapasso, he will say. You have proved that you deserve no punishment. You passed my tests, therefore you are worthy. Thank him, and he will disappear. In his place is a new table. On it is a piece of paper, with the double dagger symbol on it. Press the symbol directly onto your neck, and it will burn itself onto your skin. The paper will turn to dust, along with the room. You will be sitting at the bar once again, as if you never left your seat. Leave for you have found what you came for. The tattoo is object 425 or 538. Can you prevent your own contrapasso?